Hi, it's Craig. Thanks for joining the Rico Theta plugin developers closed beta project. I've started to see the Theta V being used for some really cool things. Here's a submission from a hot developer, Ichi Hirota. He's living in Silicon Valley. And I met up with him at a coffee shop. He's written a plugin to capture dual fisheye images. Dual fisheye images. This allows the pictures to be taken faster because you don't have to wait for the stitching internal to the Theta V. It's especially useful if you take thousands of pictures, you know, perhaps in an automated way with the API for things like object recognition. Let's check out what Ichi did. Using the plugin technology, Ichi managed to st turn off the stitching and save the image as a dual fisheye. So if you look at the, the metadata of the image, you can see that it is a Rico Theta image and that it is uh, in dual fisheye format. So how do you do this? Well, in the plugin, there are some parameters. It, and remember, it's a normal Android camera API. However, there's a parameters that you can send that are specific to the Rico Theta. One of the parameters is stitching, proc stitching. If you pass it Rick non-stitching, uh, it's still not gonna work. And here's the trick here, right? So this part is in the documentation. The part that's not a documentation yet, um, I, I've added it to the community guide actually, is the size of the picture. So this size is different than the normal uh, picture from the theta. You need to set it to 5792 by 2896 and then just set the parameters here. The, the normal theta is actually uh, 5376 uh, by 2688. So the dual fisheye, because it's the two spheres side by side, it's actually bigger. Pretty cool. And a pretty good hack by Ichi. So thanks for joining me and viewing this video. Hope you join our community of Rico the Theta V plugin developers. If you want to do so, just kick my friend Jesse Kasman a note. His email is in the link below. So look forward to seeing you online and learning all about the cool technology you're building. See you soon.